Hi, my name is Mr. Exum and welcome to my EdTech channel, where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. Looking to create a fun challenge for your class? Why not make a virtual escape room for them in OneNote? What you do is you create a series of problems uh, for them to solve, and when they solve them, that gives them the password to unlock the next section in the OneNote. Eventually, they get the password for the last section and they've escaped. It's easy to do, so let's get started. Okay, so essentially what we're trying to do is to create a little game where the students need to answer questions in one section, which will then give them the answers to unlock the next section. You see how these sections have got padlock signs next to them, and so they can't progress to the next section until they get the answers that they need, and eventually they'll get to the last section and they'll, get, they'll be able to unlock that, and then they will have escaped from the escape room. Okay, so I'm going to take you right back to the beginning and show you how to put that together. Okay, so here I am in OneNote for Windows 10 in the app, uh, and I'm going to create my escape room. Now, the key thing here is you are not doing this in class notebooks. This has nothing to do with class notebooks. You do this as just a normal sort of personal notebook that would be stored in your OneDrive, uh, and then you're going to share that. Okay, so the way I'm going to do that is at, at the top here I've got my notebooks, and when I click on them, I'm going to actually click at the bottom, Add Notebook. Okay, and I'm going to call this Darwin and click Create Notebook. Okay, so here I am, here's my new notebook, Darwin Escape Room, it says at the top, and I've got a new section, an untitled page. Okay, so I think the first thing you need to do is to create a bit of introduction. Alright, so I would rename this new section here, I can right click on it and do Rename. Okay, that's the section. And I'm just going to call my page the introduction. Okay, and in here I can put instructions, background as to exactly what's going to happen. Now essentially what's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create different sections. So I'm going to create those now. And each one of these will be a different puzzle essentially. Okay. Okay, so in my introduction section, I've put a bit of information. It says, welcome to the escape room. You need to solve three puzzles in order to escape. Okay, this room is all about, this escape room is all about Charles Darwin. It says, note, passwords may contain spaces, letters, numbers, and or capital letters. Okay, then I've said to click here to go to the first puzzle. I need to turn that into a little hyperlink to the puzzle, first puzzle. So the first puzzle is going to be about Darwin at school. So I'm going to right click on that page and I'm going to uh, choose copy link to page. And I can add that link here. Okay, um, select it, right click, choose link, and then I can set that, paste that address in. And now that will hyperlink nicely to that first one. You don't have to do all that, but it's just quite a nice touch to draw them through so they know where to go next. So I use those links to send them to the next page. Okay, so puzzle one is going to be about Darwin at school. So I'm just going to add some information to that page, a little puzzle for them to solve. Okay, so I've got some information here about Darwin at school, uh, and I'm going to ask them to do a bit more further research uh, to answer these three questions. Okay, and it says, answer the following questions on Darwin's childhood, sum the numbers, and that should get you access to Puzzle 2. So I need to add my link in to Puzzle 2, so I've gone to Puzzle 2, I've already written the Puzzle 2 page here. Again, copy link, and set that link up there. Okay. So the crucial bit now is passwords, okay? Uh, they need to be able to find out these numbers, add them up, and that will give them access to puzzle two. So I need to password protect section two. So I'm gonna right click on that, I'm gonna do password protection, add password, okay? Now the answer to puzzle one, when you add them all up was 25. So I'm gonna add in my answer, okay? And you'll see that, that that's now got a little padlock next to it. All right, same thing, there's a, a video to watch here, there's some R questions to answer, they then got to take the first letter of the answers to those four questions and use this little um, coder here to then get the actual code that they need to go into puzzle three. So I'm going to set that password up for puzzle three. That's set up. And then when they finish that, it says this is the number you will need to unlock the padlock and get to freedom. Okay, um, so they've got to take the number of letter T's from the first two answers, 
and multiply it by the number of letters in your third answer and that gives them a, a number and that is the number to get into the last page so I need to add that password in here and now I'm all set up all right so I've made my escape room it leads through from one section to, to the next and uh, they are the idea is then that they type their name in here uh, and take a screenshot of it uh, so that you can see the time on the clock because their screenshot will show you the time down here it'll show you their name um, so you know that and then ask them to email that back as proof um, that they've done it in that particular time okay so the last thing to do is to share this with the class now uh, the way to do that is very very simple you're going to click on the share button at the top right okay and it will send a link to this entire escape room okay you want to choose that they are not allowed to edit okay you want them just to be able to view all right what's nice about that is that they can't obviously make any change to your escape room but also uh, you can make changes and they will be reflected on that when they, they come to the link so you can still tweak it and change it if you need to in between okay so I'm just going to send this to myself just to prove to see, show you how it works okay so here's the link this is what the students will get and they're going to click open it will take them online okay and here they go they can just crack straight on with it click here to go to the first puzzle there we are it's opened up the first puzzle for them they're going to write down their answers click here to hit the second puzzle okay and now it says it's password protected it looks a bit different if you're doing this online or whether you're doing it in the app but it, the same thing essentially comes up saying you can't get in to puzzle two so when they click it will prompt them for the password enter the password and now they've got access to that section and they can work through uh, the escape room until the end And last one, final page. So I would definitely do that thing where you share it with yourself and then you can check that it definitely works before sharing it with the students. So that is how you make a simple escape room challenge on OneNote. So there you go, a fun lesson whilst in remote or something to do at the end of a topic perhaps. If you do it uh, live in the classroom, then there's a great sense of competition between the students uh, to see who can get to the end and escape first. For more OneNote tutorials, do be sure to check out my channel. For now though, I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you.